my beautiful crafty friends. I am Katya with Lunar Sun Creations and welcome back to the Cards from the Kitchen Mother's Day series. So um, I've done a couple episodes in this series already. If you haven't seen those, I will link a playlist uh, down below. Um, we've done tinfoil and um, paper towel or kitchen towel. Today we are going to use uh, cling wrap or cling film, however it's called in different places, along with, um, I'm going to use some liquid acrylic, but you can use watercolor or ink refills or sprays or anything that has um, some kind of liquid and color. You go for it. <laughs> and then I'm also going to use some watercolor um, paper. I, you can use regular cardstock. I do find that it works a little better with um, watercolor paper, so that's what I'm going to use. So without further ado, let's uh, get cracking. It's a super, super easy technique. You've probably seen something like it before, but I'm just going to add a little twist to it. And I mean twist literally. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start off by just dripping um, a few drops. You don't need much, especially with this stuff. Less is more. Um, so I'm going to use some colors this Flame Red. So Flame Red and Brilliant Yellow. So I'm just going to do two colors at a time. I'm just going to do a few different color combinations. Okay, and then I'm going to spritz this with water. And you want to make sure that your piece of um, cling wrap is bigger than your piece of uh, cardstock or whatever it is that you're using. So putting the cardstock down onto the, the surround wrap and then I'm going to pick the whole thing up and flip it over. This just does get a little bit messy so um, you might want to wear gloves. I should probably listen to my own advice. And then um, just uh, you can use your finger. I find that an eraser works really well. Just something to grip the paper. And I'm literally going to twist. So it's going to pull the saran wrap from the edges and create this cool spiral. Let me just bring it down a little bit so you can see it better. So I'm just going to do that. Um, I think this one I'm just going to keep going in the same spot. I've done a few now where um, I do different spirals around different areas, but I think this one I'm just going to leave it at that and then let it dry. So I'm just going to set it aside like this to dry and we'll do another one. Okay, this one I'm going to go with blue and gold. Okay, a little spritz with water. Lay some cardstock down. Give it a flip. And this one, maybe I'll go in the center this time. And it just kind of pulls the saran wrap from all the different corners so then it creates these really cool creases. Okay, I'm going to leave that one just like that and do one more. Okay, I think I'm going to go purple and silver for this one. This one I'm going to do a whole bunch of spirals. <laughs> this one might be a little odd. I'm not quite sure how this one's going to work out. <laughs> we shall see though. I'm trying to like keep the other spirals from unspiraling as you spiral the other ones. So like kind of hold on to them. I think this one might be pretty concentrated just in the center, but we'll see how we go. One more.
Okay, this one I'm not going to add any water to. I'm just curious to see what will happen if I don't add any water. So let's just check it out. I think I might do maybe an opposing spiral down here. I'm going to hold on to the first spiral and do another one going the opposite direction down here. Let's see what happens. Uh, no, you know what? I think I like it better when it's just one. Oh no, I think I've probably mucked it up. <laughs> All right, well, let's just go with that and see what happens. Okay, and now the difficult part, we wait for them to dry for a while. That's always the most difficult part for me. Okay, so they've been sitting for about 20 minutes, half an hour, somewhere around there. Um, I can tell that they're still wet under there, but I think, I think I might be okay to lift them up. Hopefully I'm not making a mistake here. Oh no, oh, we got some pattern. We got some pattern, that looks pretty cool. Uh, all right, all right, let's, let's see what else we got. This one I think is going to be pretty cool. I hope so, I really like, I really like the way this one swirled, so. Oh, I wonder if I should leave them a little longer. Okay, I definitely like it. I think, I think I'm gonna leave the other two a little longer. I did do this one earlier today um, when I was kind of, but this one I did like swirls all over the place and I think, I think maybe I should have done a couple more of those, but that's all right, we, we've, got, we've got some examples. I'm gonna wait for these ones just a little bit longer and then we'll create some cards. Okay. I'm going to take the saran wrap off of these two. I think they should be dry now. Yeah. Okay, not quite dry, <laughs> but that's okay. Okay, they're interesting. I'm not quite sure what I did with this first one, but I kind of... Uh, Wish that I'd done more of it. The red and the yellow seem to have turned out the best. Although I do like this one as well. Okay, so I'm gonna make some really simple cards. I've just got a bunch of die cuts cut out. Uh, I'm just gonna put a couple together and then show you what I've done. They're all really simple cards, but I think they turned out really nice. Uh, so this one, I just used this hugs die and then um, a circle die cut. I've got the inner circle kind of popped up on foam tape just for a little bit of dimension. And uh, this was my favorite of the four panels that I did, so I didn't want to cover it up or do too much to it. So that's that one. And then the other red one, um, I used that same scallop die and then just uh, stamped um, a hugs sentiment and put a little paper flower. That's it for that one. And then on this one, this is a heart die cut. So far these, these dies have just brown, been from AliExpress. They don't have a, a specific name. That's why I'm not mentioning it. Um, so use this heart die cut and then backed it and fussy cut around it and then double matted it on some cardstock and that's it. It says, thanks mom for not giving me away. So that's that one. And then the last one, I used an I love you die and um, embossed it in a, a clear embossing um, over um, inked black and then also added glossy accents because I decided I wanted a little bit more dimension. And then I've just got a glossy accented um, heart in both white and black for some contrast. So that's that one. So very different cards um, from each other, but I absolutely, um, I love all four of them actually. So thank you for watching um, this uh, episode. Is it an episode? I don't know. So this, this video of uh, cards from the kitchen and I hope you will give this a shot.
and I will be back with another video very, very soon. I have many, many things in the works, so I hope you will stay tuned and hit that notification button, and then you'll get notified whenever I do upload a video. Might as well hit the subscribe while you're at it as well, and the like. You know, let's, let's do all the buttons, all the good buttons. Okay, uh, <laughs> I hope you're having a really, really good day, and sending you huge hugs. I'll see you soon. Bye!